Hello students and welcome back to bankexamsoda.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is master directions on treatment of willful defaulters and large defaulters. First of all, we are going to understand the definition of willful defaulters, how they are identified and the treatment. Okay. So this is an RBI guideline uh, published on 30th of July 2024. My name is Ramandeep Singh. And let's start the session before starting. Let me tell you IBPS RRB scale to scale 3 2024 course is available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes and the test series. We are covering the entire syllabus, right? Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check the description. Okay. So who is a ma uh, who is a willful defaulter, right? So uh, a willful defaulter is a person who has a capacity to repay his debts, but he's not doing it right. So a borrower who defaults despite having capacity to repay. So here is a point. Despite having capacity to repay, the borrower is diverting or siphoning off the funds. So the borrower, let's say a borrower took a loan of 10 crore rupees. So instead of repaying his loan on time, what he's doing is he's he bought gold for, from that money. And uh, now he's not repaying. He's he, he's NPA now. So he's a willful defaulter, right? So willful defaulter includes borrowers and guarantors with default of 20 lakh rupees and above. So there are two condition first, uh, first of, uh, of which is the default must be of 25 lakh rupees or more. Secondly, the borrower is not repaying his loan, although he has the capacity to repay his loan. He has assets to repay his loans, but he's not doing it. Okay. So identification mechanism, how willful defaulters are identified. There is an uh, identification committee who will uh, review the borrower's track record, right? Uh, to ensure the default is intentional. And then a 21 days notice would be sent to the borrower so that the borrower would get an opportunity to reply, right? So the review committee, once they get the uh, reply from the borrower, in case they do not get the reply, they are going to make their decision. They take the final decision whether to identify a particular borrower as willful defaulter or not. Okay. So the reporting requirements are there. All regulated entities, including banks, NBFCs, asset reconstruction companies and credit information companies, they must report willful and large defaulters to the RBI, right? So what are the preventive measures? In phases on role of internal audits and statutory audit uh, auditors in preventing defaults. Uh, so the directions, uh, these directions would be applicable to all commercial banks, cooperative banks, financial institutions and NBFCs, right? So these measures, uh, they aims at enhancing the integrity of financial systems by ensuring strong actions, stringent actions against deliberate and willful defaulters, right? So the kind of questions that you can expect in the exam are what is the minimum default amount uh, to be classified as a willful defaulter. So minimum default amount is 25 lakh rupees is the minimum default amount, uh, right? Which committee is responsible for reviewing the borrower's track record to ensure default was in intentional? That is identification committee. Identification committee is responsible to identify, right? Whether uh, the identification committee is going to identify and uh, mark uh, willful and large defaulter as willful and large defaulter. So how many days a borrower has uh, have to respond to show cause notice sent by issued by the identification committee. So the borrower has 21 days to issue uh, to reply to the notice otherwise he would be labeled or he would be marked as large and willful defaulter so that was a pretty short session that i guess i have completed within four and a half five minutes so you can uh, go through the complete rva guidelines on bankexamstudy.com open the financial awareness section we have last three years of rva guidelines three years 
of uh, RBI guidelines are available in our course, right? Please go through that. They are very, very important for your exams. So in the course, you'll be getting video classes, all the notes, quizzes and the test series and weekly uh, quizzes are also there. And then we are providing interview preparation classes, right? So the link to join the course is available in the description. Uh, join us. Uh, this is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts, right? So list of our successful students, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them in the future and you will be one of them in the future. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer all your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.